Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo. I'm here at the HP WebOS event. Yeah, I didn't say Palm because they're not talking about Palm. Palm is gone, apparently. Uh, all you see is HP WebOS everywhere. See, HP WebOS across your universe. No more Palm. Anyway, uh, they just announced three devices: the Veer, which is a teeny tiny WebOS smartphone, the Pre3, which is kind of their flagship smartphone, and then the Touchpad, which to me was the star of the show, the tablet device. It'll ship this summer. They're not letting people touch it, but they are doing demos, so let's go see if we can get one. So if you, uh, it does show two pages at the same time. Yeah. I'm not showing that. Um, let me also show you a, uh, a game. So you know we mentioned the processing power in this. Um, so we have this um, really cool uh, flying fighter game as a demonstration of that. So it's in uh, autopilot mode. Take that off. <laughs> I'm not very good at this yet. But you can see the uh, see how good it looks. Fire it. Kind of like that. I'm into the back into uh, card view. You get rid of it like that. Now you might have noticed um, since I've been showing this to you that I got a bunch of text messages. This is another really cool feature we're showing today. Um, this does not have a phone in it, but it's connected um, with a phone I do have uh, in the station here. And so I can reply to text messages right from here. This is a good chance to talk about the keyboard. Um, you notice it's a five row keyboard, so we have the numbers visible. Um, and we have the symbols present, so it's much easier to type, um, uh, you know, dates and times and things like that, where you've got numbers in and characters. Not you don't have to switch back and forth a whole lot. If I press and hold here, I can change the keyboard size. So if I have smaller fingers and I'm, you know, I more prefer a small keyboard, I can do that. Um, or if I want to go big, maybe just because I want to type more, you know, I want to type like a long email or something like that, I can do that. Um, it's up to the user to decide. Um, which they prefer. <laughs> By the way, this is how you close applications. Let me show you the, the web browser experience. So this is based on uh, the latest web kit. Um, we have hardware acceleration and uh, we support, uh, a lot of HTML5 features and uh, also Flash. So you get the web the way you're expecting it. <laughs> That's pretty much what I have to show. So you can see, um, we saw the new email application and the, the, the notification system out lets you power through email. This is it. Um, our connected photos experience, the web browser, um, the connected SMS experience that lets you send messages um, through your touchpad. And uh, that's it. I, I encourage you guys to go check out the uh, beer and the uh, free which you can find out. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just showing the test right now. Can I get it to hold it up a little bit and show it, up, show it off? Yeah. So, like, just go through the different menus. And, uh, <laughs> it's so good at modeling. The light is really good. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. 
Can we see the back? Uh, I'm not sure the back. Sure the back. You're going to run through that demo again, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Does the, does the, does the, sure, I just need a minute to reset, yeah. so if you guys give me a second. Yeah, quick question. Does the OS work in landscape mode? It does. I mean, in uh, portrait, rather? It does. Just as you'd expect, I think. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> as you'd expect.